Hello everyone, welcome back. This is Raz. Uh, in this video, we're going to learn how to perform normality test using R and R Studio. So we'll be doing uh, both the graphical as well as the statistical uh, methods to test normality. So first of all, um, I have opened R Studio here, okay, um, and then I will um, load or I will import the data set and then I will install the required package then after that I will perform the steps okay so first of all uh, let me import a data set so, so here you can see um, I have imported a, a data set employee data which is SPSS file after installing the Haven package which I have already talked in my previous videos so after importing the package uh, let me attach this sorry after importing the uh, file uh, data set let me attach this uh, data set okay a m p l o y e so attaching the file uh, makes it easier to write the commands okay so after that we need uh, some packages to install so first me uh, first let me so install dot packages so we can install a package using the command install dot packages okay and then dplyr dplyr package okay so this is uh this package is used for um data manipulation um so we'll learn later the use of this package in detail so it takes some time to install okay so now um the package is installed yeah so the package is installed and let me install uh, another package which is based on ggplot install dot packages and then type ggpobr okay so ggpobr it's a ggplot to paste package so ggpubr so install all packages and then ggpubr again uh, it takes some time to install the package and after that the package has been installed now we need to uh, load those packages okay so for that library so the first package we install is uh, if you remember deploy package dplyr and another um another package that we um install uh, is uh, library and then ggpubr okay so i had already uh, load, um, loaded those uh, packages so it's just showing me the same error but if you load it for the first time it doesn't show that error okay so the packages are loaded now we need to perform the analysis so first of all uh, let me do the visual methods or the graphical methods to test the normality so today's uh, lecture is on testing the normality so we know that we can uh, visually present the normality um, by using the uh, density curves and uh, um, also the QQ plot okay so let me first uh, perform the analysis using the density plots so since we have already installed the package ggpubr we can now um, directly type the command gg okay so you start with gg and then density so the variable uh, that we want to use is the quantitative variable which is uh, this salary for example the current salary okay so is uh, salary okay this is the salary if you want to keep the title then main equals salary of the staff okay if you want to keep the x-axis let's say then you can type x lab equals salary in usd or something like that okay and then hit enter 
Um, let's see how it uh, performs. So what is what is it doing? Error in default data x incorrect number of dimensions. Oh yeah, I noticed the error over here. Here the inversion comma is uh, after this means okay. There you go. And hit enter. So you can see the uh, density curve in which you can see the skewness okay so by uh, visual um, presentation of the salary of the staff you can see that the data is not normally distributed but we can verify this statistically later on uh, but before that let me draw a QQ plot okay so for that is uh, GG um, QQ plot and then again salary okay so you can skip this uh, okay if you don't want the title and uh, the x-axis or something like that so just to uh, show you the curve only so this is QQ plot and then salary and then hit enter so it shows the uh, QQ plot okay so uh, you can adjust these uh, x-axis and y-axis using different commands but now um, I just showed the graph okay so the QQ plot also shows that the data is uh, not normally distributed, but now we can verify this statistically uh, whether the data is uh, normally distributed or not. So to do that, you can use the Sapiro test. Okay, so it's uh, Sapiro Sapiro dot test. The variable that we use is uh, salary. Enter. You can see the Sapiro wilk normality test. The value is 0 0.77 and the p-value is 2.2 times 10 to the power minus 16 which is far less than 0 0.05. Um, so it shows that uh, with the p-value of um, less than 0 0.05 which is the normal um, alpha value that we use for the statistical test um, you can see that the data is not normally distributed, okay? So the data is skewed. So in this way, we can perform normality test using R and R Studio. So hope you like the video. Um, if you think this is useful, please share it with your colleagues. And also, if you have not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe so that I can make similar useful videos in the future. Bye-bye and cheers.